Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with ikhlas with the bad Allah sunnah and nabi sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many many sins and many shortcomings and may Allah bless us with ilm al-nafiya rizq al-tayyib wa amal al-muttaqabbil and forgive us and the Ummah of Jameel Dhanub Wal Ma'asi. Ahabatif Allah, it's very important for us to know uh, <clears throat> the issues of Tawheed and the issues of Shirk. And as we were talking about in our uh, prior, <clears throat> earlier in the in our sittings during Ramadan, uh, we talked a little bit about Tawheed, we talked a little bit about Shirk, and I wanted to talk very briefly about Shirk al Askar. And Shirk al Askar, the minor Shirk, is the, uh, is it means those things which are a wasila or a means uh, to the major Shirk. So those means to major Shirk is considered minor shirk. That's one of the definitions that the scholars mention. And from some of the types of uh, the minor shirk, shirk al askar first, al half bi ghayrillah. In lam yaqsad ta'zim al makhluk bih, wa illa sara shirkin akbar. An ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, qala qala rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, man halfa bi ghayrillah, fakad kafar. O Ashraq, Ruahu Abu Dawood. In a hadith in Abu Dawood, uh, first and foremost, uh, to Al Half bi Ghayrillah. And Al Half bi Ghayrillah, it is basically to swear uh, by other than Allah. So, for example, in our culture <clears throat> in the West, especially, particularly African American culture, what we used to do when we were young, when we when something was something very serious, we say, "I put that on my mama. I put that on, I put that on my, uh, you know, uh, I put that on my mom's or whatever." And so this is a type of half, you know, to swear by your mom to 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 you know, uh, to make a not an oath but a to to swear. To swear uh, by other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is a type of minor shirk. So it's a major sin. It's something we should uh, absolutely avoid. And as the author mentioned, Lam yaqsa ta'zim al makhluk bihi wa illa sara shirkin akbar. So that if a person does this uh, and they do this. Uh, you know, to exalt the, the the created thing greater than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to exalt them, you know, ta'zim, where it's 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 like uh, to exalt them in a, in a form of ibadah, you know, that this makhluk, you know, it's so azim, you know, uh, and you'll hear this a lot in the music, in the, in the the especially in the rap, in the hip-hop music, in the hip-hop industry, they will use... This term, for example, I can remember Snoop used to have a lyric where he said, put that on my mama and something, something, something. Okay. And this is a type of, you know, this could, uh, depends on the level of the exaltation, this could actually go to shirk al-akbar, which takes a person out of the fold of Islam. Uh, and then... As evidence on Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala he said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever swears by other than Allah, they have uh, disbelieved or shirk or, or committed shirk. So this shows us, this is evidence, sarih. This is a clear text, a clear nas that swearing by other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one, not permissible. Number two, that it is either shirk or it is either disbelief as the Messenger of Allah alayhi salatu wasalam said. Uh, the second surah, the second way of, second type of shirk al askar that we want to mention uh, is uh, yasir riyah. This is the minor riyah, the minor showing off. For example, the person who shows off, they want to be known <coughs> um, 
They want the people to see, for example, maybe they enter the masjid, and their intention was to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But they notice that the people are looking at them, and they start their prayer, and they begin to beautify their, their prayer. Or whatever the case may be, they beautify whatever act of ibadah uh, that they're doing. So this, if they are showing off, then this is a riya. And it is from the minor shirk. وَقَالَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ أَخْوَ فَمَا خَافُ عَلَيْكُمْ الشِّرْكُ الْأَسْغَرُ فَسُئِلَ عَنْهُ فَقَالْ الْرِيَا رُوَاهُ أَحْمِدْ So as uh, collected by Imam Ahmed is the hadith of the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وعلى عليه وسلم and he said that which I fear the most for you uh, is the minor shirk and then they asked him about it or he was asked about it and he said it is a riya and so this shows us that also that this is from the minor shirk as the Prophet والسلام, he described it he himself وسلم, he said عليكم, uh, the thing that I most fear for you is the minor shirk letting us know that what that's also the deal of this taksimat of shirk uh, that this this is evidence that shirk also has a major and minor categories. And this comes directly from a nas of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, directly from a text. Uh, and so, with that being the case, that lets us know that there's a minor shirk. And on top of that, habit of Allah, is that riya, as we mentioned in the first, uh, when we talked about half bi ghayrillah, riya also can be major shirk sometimes. Sometimes it can take you out of the fold of Islam. For example, the one who totally does things to show off to the extent that they do it only to please the people. So he goes to the masjid only so that the people will know and see that he prays. Uh, this can actually go change from the minor shirk to the major shirk, taking a person out of the fold of Islam, if they taqsid, if they have the intention to, to please the people. Meaning that they're only doing this act of ibadah, they're doing this act of ibadah to please the people, not to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all. So this is the danger, it shows us how riyah, it can transform, and it shows us that qa'ida, that principle, that the scholars say that shirk, uh, that the, the minor shirk is a wasila, uh, you know, is the wasail in a shirk al-akbar. That minor shirk is the means to major shirk. So anything that is the means to major shirk is considered a, a minor shirk. Um, the third uh, surah or third uh, type of minor shirk or an example would be uh, if someone says al qawl ma sha Allah wa shit the person who says you know this is what Allah wills and you and you so here is as, as if the person has made uh, th this will this divine will which is the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala along with the will of someone in the creation but rather there's a correct way of establishing uh, these um uh, to, 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 to attribute something to the creation. There's a correct uh, way, which is from the minhaj rabbaniya, the minhaj of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And so uh, the evidence for this is the statement of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, لَمَا قَالَ لَهُ الرَّجُلْ لَمَا قَالَ لَهُ الرَّجُلْ When a man said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, مَا شَاء اللَّهُ وَشِتْ He said, it's, it's what Allah willed in you. Basically, what you and Allah willed. Uh, فقال, the Prophet وسلم, then said, uh, The Prophet وآله وآله وسلم, he said, Did you make me a partner with Allah? Did you make me a partner with Allah? He says, Say. So then he commanded him, he corrected him. <coughs> he said, Say. Say what Allah willed alone. So there's also an, an aspect of tarbiyah here, something very beneficial that look at how the Prophet ﷺ, he corrected him. He didn't just 
you know, attack him and so forth. It shows us that the Prophet ﷺ, that he uh, used uh, gentleness, but he was also firm about establishing the Sunnah and firm in correcting uh, akhtha, mistakes. So this is also a refutation of those people who say that, no, we should never correct our Muslim brothers' mistakes. No, we should never refute our Muslim brothers. No, we should never, uh, you're backbiting, you're eating the flesh of your, your, your brother. But this is not true if we look at the Sharia principles, if we look to really what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and the Messenger of Allah alayhi salatu wasalam said, then we will know and understand that there's a time and a place for everything and there is a minhaj, there's a methodology, and this is the methodology and the method of the Salaf al-Salih, Ridwan Allahi alayhim, uh, at the Rasihim is the Sahaba al Rasul, Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, radiyallahu ta'anum ajma'een. So, and this comes from ilm and fiqh, you know, jahil doesn't get you uh, a better understanding of Islam, jahil gets you a better understanding of your desires and how to follow them, but ilm, ilm and nafia gives you a better understanding of what to say uh, so that way you don't criticize something which is actually from Islam and criticize Islam when uh, <clears throat> you should be, you know, silent. And so it's very important for us to know and understand. So this is from the minhaj of the Prophet ﷺ, this, this prophetic methodology that he corrected uh, this man. And he corrected him and generally with, uh, gen with gentleness. And sometimes the Prophet ﷺ was stern. So there's a time and a place for everything. And this comes from Hikmah. <clears throat> the fourth uh, means and final one, uh, or the fourth um, uh, nor or category, if you will, of uh, minor shirk, waqol, uh, Lo la Allah wa fulan. So if someone says, for example, that if it wasn't for Allah and so and so, okay, so this is what I'm talking about. This gives us the, the correct minhaj of how what we should say. Because, for example, if someone helps you, someone they helped you out with something, you know, there's a way to say that yes, to acknowledge that this person helped you. But first, all the fuddle, all the praise goes to Allah. If it wasn't for Allah, and then, then you, then so-and-so helping you. So that way you're giving all the real glory, it goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That ibadah, that aspect of ibadah. And then, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used this person as a means. So that, that that's the, the itaqad, the, uh, the creed of the believer. So, uh, uh, as-sawab and yaqal, mashallah, thumma sha fulan. So the correct thing is to say what Allah will, then what so and so will. Wallo la la, thumma fulan. Or if it wasn't for Allah, then so and so. That's also another way. La'anna thumma to feed a tartib mal tarahi. So here he's talking about giving us a, um, an, an idea about the Arabic language so that we use thumma. That that uh, you feed the tartib. That that is a word that we use to talk about um, uh, not organization, but the tartib. The um, I forget what we would say in English, but tartib. Anyway, that something precedes something else. So yeah, you might say the organization or the. Um, I'm at a loss for words, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq, ameen. So anyhow, uh, we're using that to talk about that something, an event, follows another event. So if it wasn't for Allah, first and foremost, then so-and-so, okay? I think we, we understand that. And uh, so then you are making the mashiyat al-abd tabi'an li mashiyat Allah. So here that you're making the, the will of the servant or the created thing in accordance uh, or, or coming after the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning that that is a part that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed that so-and-so would be of assistance to you. So that means it's all really going to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all the praise, but you're also acknowledging that this person has a role in accordance with their limited free will, but it could only have happened if Allah allowed them to be able to assist you. So I hope that that's clear. 
uh, and then uh, as evidence, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al kareem وَمَا تَشَاءُونَ إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاءَ اللَّهُ رَبُّ الْعَالَمِينَ uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Takweer, verse 29, if it, uh, وَمَا تَشَاءُونَ and, and you do not uh, uh, have a will except with the, from the, you know, the will of Allah, رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ the Lord of the worlds. So you're unable to make will except by the will and permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <clears throat> and then he says, wow. So now he's talking about wow. So we're talking about this again. This is going back to the Arabic language. Using wow. Wow meaning, we translate to mean and in general. And so, mutlaq al jam wa ishtirak. So this is very important. So wow, <clears throat> when you say and, if I say Allah help me and so and so, by using the wow or using and, that is evidence because in the Arabic language you're using wow to show ishtirak, to show that something shares something. So that means that you're saying Allah and so and so. So this is where you are making a nid with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, making a partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why you shouldn't say uh, Allah willed and my father willed or the Imam willed. No, instead we say Allah willed then the Imam willed, okay? And so that makes the difference in that al-fav between uh, committing, actually falling into uh, a, a minor shirk and uh, and a, a correct uh, uh, a correct way of, of talking about an event or talking about something. So I hope that's clear. That's a little bit of um, some of the... Uh, various pictures or various scenarios of uh, shirk al-askar and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from kufr al-shirk and nifaq Allahumma inni a'udhu bika and ushurika bika wa ana a'lamu astaghfiruka liman a'lamu wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam